For the past 25 years, Goddard scientists have been involved in massively parallel computing. Initial experiments with optical image processing in the late 1960s led eventually to the delivery of the Goodyear Aerospace Massively Parallel Processor in 1983. The following animations show some recent work done on Goddard's MassPAR MP1, a commercial successor to the original MPP. The first is an application of the maximum entropy method for deblurring an image taken by the Hubble Space Telescope of the Araquaria star system. The original image is both blurred and oversaturated. The deblurring process is iterative and the animation shows its progress. The image is represented as a three-dimensional plot of image brightness. The maximum entropy method restores the received Hubble image to its original state by deconvolving it with the mirror's point spread function, which has been previously computed. In the final deblurred image, both the star system and the large jet ejected from it can be detected. This work was done by John Dorband and Mike Hollis. As part of a research project into the origins of life, Jack Corliss has developed this model of evolution. In the animation, the vertical axis represents time. The horizontal axes represent variations of two characteristics which define a species. The model begins with a single population. As time passes, new creatures are born, some with slight mutations which place them at different locations in the characteristic space. Eventually, a number of distinct species evolve and diverge from each other. The large blue areas are low-density, highly diverse populations, which appear briefly. Here we see two different Landsat mosaics of the Camargo syncline in central Bolivia. The elevation of this terrain was derived by a stereo matching algorithm developed by Jim Strong and Ed Seiler. This algorithm finds corresponding pixels in two images of a region taken from slightly different positions. The difference in location of corresponding pixels determines the elevation. The algorithm matches every pixel in both images. Any errors, which would appear as a sudden jump in elevation between pixels, can easily be found and corrected. Each summer, Goddard's Space Data and Computing Division sponsors a visiting student enrichment program. The program allows college and high school students to work on a variety of computational science projects. This animation shows the results of a model by Ted Yang of Suffern High School, simulating the interaction of two colliding disk galaxies. The model extends the 1972 work of Tumray and Tumray, studying the galaxies NGC 4676 A and B.